It's the last day now of Severe Weather Awareness Week in the Carolinas, and our team continues to keep you informed and help keep you safe. Meteorologist Elisa Rafa here now to explain how hail forms. Elisa. Yes, yes we're going to chat about hail, and then I'm going to quiz you again. Oh, but, boy. <laughs> uh oh uh, So let's take you inside the thunderstorm, right? Um, what's really cool, the way hail forms, is in a thunderstorm, you've got winds that go up and winds that go down, okay? So inside the thunderstorm, way upstairs in the cloud, you have temperatures cold enough for some ice droplets. And then you see what's happening here. The up giraffes will kind of push these ice droplets around and they kind of bang into each other and then they're able to grow. Well, what's going to happen is, is the weight of that ice ball essentially is going to start to overdo the updraft, right? So the winds that's trying to keep it up, well, eventually this ice ball is going to get too heavy, right? And we know how gravity works. It's going to have to fall down to the ground eventually once it gets too heavy. So that's how you get these huge huge clusters of ice to just fall out of the sky and the stronger that wind up is the um, stronger the thunderstorm is because imagine a wind being able to hold a ball of ice the size of a grapefruit right that's got to be an incredibly strong thunderstorm so this is kind of how we measure hail and this is how we like for you to send the reports because it's tough to see in a picture right we need to relatively to know how big it is and this is why we say stay away from windows imagine an ice ball the size of a softball mm. coming through your window mm -hmm. so that's such a helpful visual to have too that reminds me of when you're pregnant and you get the updates like your baby is the size of a peanut your baby is the size of an <laughs> <Yeah>. avocado <laughs> it's helpful